Oh! Fuck. Why, why, why? <laughs> you mother... I have one of those too. Oh my gosh, it's fucking perfect. A long night last night. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? This is the Burnout. Today's episode, we're talking about all the best cigar lounges that we've been to. So stay tuned because it's the Burndown. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. To another episode of the Burn Down Podcast. I'm Eric. I'm Justin. And today's episode, we went to the Carnegie Club last night. It was felt good to be back in New York City. Felt good to shake some hands, hug some people. Felt good to be around people. It felt damn good. All right? So we said, you know what? The Carnegie Club is one of our favorite lounges. Let's talk about some of our favorite lounges that we've been around to. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. Yeah, maybe a couple stories might come out from the... The times we've been to these lounges. Hey, hey, hey. And these are all lounges across the country. I mean, any lounge that we've been to that we felt the need to share, that's what we're going to talk about. Yeah, for sure. Because like Eric said, last night, felt it felt really good. But Before we start, we're going to talk about two things. One, you the got a, that? You got a friend in me. <laughs> you got a friend in me. Reach for the sky. You, you like that bad you look, boy? You're looking like Woody. You like that bad boy? This is my Stetson hat. It's a new, it's a new addition to the to the. It's a look. new addition. Well, I I remember we did an episode. I had just it was after Christmas. I had just gotten a couple hats because I, I I like these I like these hats. Stetson makes a great hat. I reached out to shout out to Atlas and Mason George Laboda. He uh, turned me on to the hats. So I got a couple hats for Christmas. I remember saying on an episode, I got to start wearing some hats for yeah. you guys, and I never wore them. So I'm like, I saw. I'm like, you know what? Summer's in the air. It's time to fucking hey, rock them. I'll so. be, I'll be your, uh, I'll be. Uh, how do I want to say this? I'll be your Buzz Lightyear too, to Woody. <laughs> Is it really Woody hat? I fucking love it. You got a friend in me, and then love me. It. I got the dad polo on. <laughs> you got the dad polo. What are you doing with my daughter, son? <laughs> bring my daughter. You guys, my... guys want to go? You guys want to go play a quick eighteen? Yeah, you gonna bring her back here at ten o'clock? I want her nine fifty nine. Not a minute. Pass because I'm in the car hunting your mother and ass down. So you know what? I, you know what? My plans this weekend. I'm gonna. I gotta go cut the grass. Have myself a beer. Maybe cut the grass a second time. You know, you gotta make sure you cut the first time. You gotta make sure you get it good on the second time. Hey man, that looks pretty proper with that hat on. I mean, <laughs> you fit the character pretty well. Well, there's a big difference. Uh, but this is not your uh, a cowboy hat. It's a big difference. And ask my girlfriend. She knows right off the bat because I started saying. She goes, "That's not a cowboy hat." It's like. She's from Texas, y'all. She fucking knows because her dad wears a cowboy hat every day of his life. This ain't no damn cowboy. This is a fashion hat. Cowboy hat's real different, okay? But anyway, so I got the hat on today. Hope you guys like it. If you don't, go got that. Got the wannabe <laughs> cowboy hat. Got the dad polo on. No, 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 no. It ain't no wannabe cowboy hat. I'm not trying to be a cowboy. This is my fashionable you're not, hat. You're not trying to be a if cowboy. If you don't like it, go kick rocks because I like it. It's not, it's not a wannabe. It just it looks like a cowboy hat to me. All right. Well, let's pour this uh, coffee because yippee yi yo Kaye. I'm I. You had said it, and I said, you know what? Coffee and cigars. It feels real good today. Because uh, it's yeah. not hot out. It's like cool summer day. We had a long night last night. That well, yeah, that too. And uh, you know, it was a struggle coming here. I was like, on the struggle bus. So you know what? Your your hat gives me energy. Gives me good Glad vibes. It does. Glad you know, it does. I. It's not a wannabe cowboy hat, but. It gives me good vibes. I like it. So let's um let's get it going. Let's well, just cut him and we'll talk about it after. Let's just get into it. I need it. Come on. We need it. What we need it. Stop wasting time. So we back. We're back. Had a little spillage. We're a little good spillage. Though. A little spoiled milk. Here's Don't to... cry over spilled milk, boy. Never. So here's to uh, a good, successful night at the uh, Carnegie Club. Shout out to Matthias for hooking it up. Matthias Clock. Good Shout out, out to um, 
Delissimo, Tony Peck, and Ashes with Ash for hanging out with us. And Fabrizio. And Fabrizio. Fabrizio. Fabuccino. Fabuccino. Boy, Kevin. Cheers. Salute. I'm like dripping all over the place here. <sighs> Look at this. God, that's so good. Gives me life. All right. So before we get into that, um, what are we smoking? I have La, La, La Roma de Cuba... Mi amor, Reserva. Oh. You like that tongue roll? That was good. I have the uh, La Aroma de Cuba Edición Especial. Oh, mm, my goodness. And this was not planned. We just both have the, happened to have a La Aroma de Cuba. La Aroma de Cuba. In our humidors. La Aroma so, de Cuba. Good. Mm. Good cigar or coffee. So, anyways. Okay, first one. First lounge. Carnegie Club. Carnegie Club. So, for those who don't know, the Carnegie Club is on 56th Street. In Manhattan, it's right behind the famous Carnegie Hall. Andrew Carnegie Hall. Andrew Carnegie Hall. And it's a very lit, dim area. It's like a old school library. They got two fo- uh, two floors, a full bar. They usually have some kind of band playing over the weekend. They have Sinatra Saturdays. It's real like speakeasy feel. Yeah, it's like super When you classy. think of a cigar lounge, you think of the 50s, the 40s, 50s cigar lounge. This is the type of... It's even earlier than that, the yeah. 20s, 30s, for the old speakeasy feel, that's what this is like. It's a classy joint, for sure. Real classy joint. And uh, it was like, one, I think it was probably the first New York City cigar lounge I've ever been to. Mm-hmm. Um, which was like... Mine was, yeah, yeah it's me too. Like four or five years ago. And uh, I was with you, my dad, and we were with our buddy Kevin. And we still sit in that same spot upstairs every single time. He always finds us. But uh, it's a really awesome spot, and that's where the event was being held yesterday by uh, Matthias's uh, straight up and toasted event, which was awesome. And just it's just great, good vibes, good drinks, good smokes, good people. Oh, it's just it was a just a, a grand old time. It is. It's a grand old time, and can never get old. Now, so speaking of uh, New York, let's go a little. And actually, before we go on to it, our our fellow BDP guest Ruben Stuttered. Messaged me was like, man, bro, I gotta go to there. And well, he's like, gotta come up once you gotta come up and visit Ruben. You gotta come up and visit us. I said, hey, dude, when you're in the city, hit us up and we'll go. We'll meet up. He we said, talked I, about that on on his yeah. show, on yes, his episode. We said, hey, you come up, we'll take you to Lavo. We'll take, yeah, we'll do it. We'll take care of him. So, um, another one in Manhattan is Club Macanudo, and that's where we met Leo from Nova Cigars, and that was a great one. That was a nice yeah. little lounge, a little bit more modern than. Yeah, it's kind of on the scale of old school to mo- to modern. I would say old school is more Carnegie Club. Yeah. Modern is more Davidoff lounges. Club Macanudo kind of sat in between those. Yeah, I didn't really get the old school vibe from there. But I didn't get the Davidoff modernness that you you know ever been to a Davidoff where everything is very oh, yeah. business like, brand spanking new. Yeah, modern I didn't looking. get that from. Yeah, so it's in between. I would say. Yeah, I mean it's a cool spot. You can have dinner there, which is great. Um, I actually had a I actually had a, uh, a a date planned with between my fiance, my my buddy Justin and his fiance to go there and have a dinner and smoke a cigar and then good old coronavirus came and ruined that. Coronavirus. But uh, so we have to reschedule that. But yeah, it's cool. You can you eat there. I think like Eli, like a lot of famous people have lockers there. Like Eli Manning, I think used to have a locker there. It still does have a locker there. Um, but you might be able to catch some celebrities if you go over there. So. Club Macanudo in New York City, too, as well. Yeah, that's, uh, it reminds me, you said dinner, it reminds me of one in Inglewood, New Jersey called Sophia's. Inglewood? That's right across the river, and that's a great one because you have the main restaurant on the first floor, and then if you go down a set of stairs, open up another door, go down this long hallway, they have a speakeasy bar that you can smoke cigars in and order dinner. Uh. So you can sit down at your table, order your appetizers, order your dinner, smoke cigars, get the bar, a drink from the bar, and it's it's just being able to because you can't do that. Yeah, very a lot of spots. At a lot of spots, or or you can, but you're not ordering full dinners. You're ordering appetizers, like a carny club. You have a few appetizers. You're not having a full steak dinner, right? By the way, the the the, the yeah, they were little good. appetizers they that were you got yesterday. They were good. I mean, it was like <laughs> it was just cheese crackers and grapes and. And then you had the what did you get? Oh, the prosciutto flatbread. The prosciutto flatbread, mod on. Oh, oh my god. god! I told you. I said, "Yo, try some of this." You're like, "Ah, well." I'm like, "Dude, just try some." Ah, dude, stop talking and try. It. You're like, "Ah, right." 
Oh, I was oh, like, I was like, bro, <laughs> bro. I told you, <laughs> shit was fire. Shit was so fire. Yeah. So Sophia's, you can sit down, have a nice steak dinner, get a glass of wine, a cocktail, yeah. bourbon, have your cigar. I had an appetizer cigar, and then I had a dinner cigar. And it was fantastic. Yes, yeah, that's that's by me. Well, it's by me in New York, but it's right, like you said, across the river in New Jersey. So we got to go there. I got to have to check it out because it sounds amazing yeah pretty good i went with a couple buddies of mine uh not big cigar smokers but like hey let's let's go down and try let's it let's do it good. um what are some other good ones in manhattan <sighs> manhattan um or i mean new I mean, york area yeah there's not much like there's i mean you have like uh like martinez cigars is in manhattan right outside penn station mm-hmm. but that's not really a lounge it's more of a you go there buy cigars and they roll cigars right in front of you what are some of the other ones that you haven't been to though uh, I haven't been to the, you know Havana Club. I haven't been to, um, I, you know, really a lot. The, the one you said, uh, the books, Barnes and oh, Books. Oh, uh, Lexington Bar and Books. Yeah, I or Hudson Bar and Books. Hudson Bar and Books. I haven't been to that one. That was um, the one I went with with your your dad once. We went into the city. We had a business dinner, and then we were downtown. So we said, "Hey, let's walk to Hudson Bar and Books." So we walked there. I shit you not. Fifteen seconds after we got into Hudson Bar and Books. Fucking hurricane just came through. Sh- signs were f- rolling down the street. It was raining sideways. Hang on! The freaking awning on the building was getting ripped off. They had to send one of the bus boys to, like hold it down. I-, I couldn't believe it. I thought I thought the world ended. Yeah. So what's it like in there? Very small. It's a long layout. It's not very wa- wa- not big open space. It's kind of a long bar. And then we sat in the back. There's a couple steps and there's a little seating area mm-hmm. in the back. Very small place, but you can smoke cigars and get a couple drinks. Got to do so. And I think Lexington is a little bit bigger, but that's enough. That's more by Midtown. Yeah. Um, I mean, we, you got our you got our go to spot on Long Island. You got Matador. Yeah, you know? there we go. They got three locations on Long Island. They have Hot Pog, Massapequa Park, Roslyn. But where I work, it's closer. I'm closer to the Roslyn one. But you, you know, where we go a lot is on Hot Pog. The main spot. The main one. The best one, in my opinion. I I personally think it is. Yeah. I mean, not because I'm biased, because I work next to it, but I think it's it's got the best humidor. I mean, I've been to all three of them, and they don't have the humidor size. They don't have the lounge size as they do in Hop Hog. And, you know, we know a bunch of people there. We know Frank. And uh, always good, good people there. Always good conversations. And really, Matador is kind of what inspired the Burn Down Podcast, if you think about it. It's kind of what started my journey on on the page because yeah. I would go there every day and I said, "Hey, let me make a journal." I guess so. And I really started the cigar the cigar journey, but it started the Instagram. Yeah, journey, yeah I should yeah. say. No, oh, so shout out to Matador and Hop Hog, inspiring, in- inspirational, inspiring, motivational, people. educational, situational, occupational, congregational, constitutional. Yeah, still got me. Anyways. Matador and Hop Hog. Anything with a ooshinal. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. I don't know. I can't think. <laughs> occupational. That's the only one I got. I was going occupational. So Matador and Hop Hog on uh, Long Island. Um, what about what about outside Long Island? Um, or outside of New York? So there's a, one that I can think of right off the bat, and everybody's heard this story. If you listen, if you're a fan of the podcast, uh, you've heard this story of Burn by Rocky Patel in Pittsburgh. When got I little, got a little too turned little, up, I got a little yoked up. Uh, but that's a good, that's a beautiful place. Beautiful. I never been to place. a burn. I always wanted to go. I know they're, I know they're in Florida, kind of down in the south. Yeah, I have one in Naples. Yeah, in Florida, I think there's one. Oh, there's one in Pittsburgh, so it's up here in the Northeast. But never been to one. They, but they look very modern and like a Davidoff esque. It's very nice. It's yes and no. It has a lot of modern things, but it's classy. Do you like it better than the Davidoff look? Yes. I like the traditional. I like the old school. Yeah. You know, the vibes. They got the good jazz, the good Frank Sinatra playing in the background. Stuff because like. that's what I feel when I'm going to a lounge. I don't want to feel like I'm going into a corporate setting. Yeah. I feel like I just came from a corporate setting. I want to go to relax in the lounge. I want to get the F out of the corporate setting. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with it. That's just not. Just your what, preference. Yeah. It's just not what we like. No, no, no. But it's a rock t- uh, burn by Rocky Patel. There's another one in Indianapolis I've been to called Nikki Blaine's. That's a that's a real speakeasy feel because I remember telling this story on the mm-hmm. podcast where 
it's just in the middle of, I think it was called Columbus Circle. I'm not sure, but just a, a red sign just says Nikki Blaine's, like a neon sign. Nikki Blaine. And there's two doors. There's a Mickey Blaine's in Connecticut. A Mickey Blaine's? I'm, this one's called I'm, Mickey Blaine's. I think it's Mickey Blaine. Mickey. Mickey Blaine's? I think it's in Connecticut. Mickey Blake's? Mickey Blake's. Yeah, I remember you. Were, yeah, I remember we had this conversation when I was telling the Nikki Blaine's when you're like, is it Mickey Blake's? Yeah, yeah. like Mike Dick goes there. Yeah. So, but it was cool because it had this little sign, it's two doors, and that's it. You open the doors, and there's this red carpet that stairs that go to the bottom. And you feel like, am I in the right place? You open the doors, and then it opens up to this real, like, uh, red velvet, dim lighting, exactly like the Carnegie Club. Classy shit. Yeah, it's cool. I love it. It was real I cool. I live for that. It was real cool. I live for that shit. Just walk down the stairs, knock on the door, they open up, opens up into a, yeah. It was, it was good. Yeah, Nikki. I mean, I placed Nikki Blake's. I think they have a few in Connecticut. But uh, when I used to live there, <coughs> easy, easy now. Hold on, hold on now. <coughs> easy, hands up. Went down the wrong pipe there. <coughs> Are you okay? I'm good. Have you, I'm dude? Good. Have you seen the videos on Instagram <laughs> of the guy who <coughs> who uh, he's pretends he's choking? Right? He's like <coughs> to his friends. So he's like, you know, give me the Heimlich. Give me the Heimlich. So they go behind him, right? So they, they kind of pump his chest. They go like this. So as soon as they go like this, he goes, Ay! And they're like, bro, what are you doing? Dude, it's like, he's like, and they're like, oh, shit. And he's like, Ay! <laughs> or or he tells him, he goes, all right, all right, Justin, interlock your hands, uh, face them outward. Now look over the bottom, of, look at the bottom of your shoe over your shoulder. So you'll be like this. And you'll be like, Ay! And he's like, bro, what are you doing? It's hilarious. Interlock your hands. Push down. Now look at the bottom of your feet behind you. Aye. With the way he said, aye. It's so funny. But uh, anyways, so yeah, Mickey Blake's. I've been there a few times when I lived in Connecticut. Um, I think it's, I don't know, Southington, Connecticut maybe. There, It's up there. It's pretty far in Connecticut, but I know it's where a lot of the ESPN guys go. Yeah, because that's where the headquarters is, right? Yeah, over there. Um, but a couple spots in Connecticut I can think of. Um, you know, speaking of like speakeasies and the traditional vibe, is Love that feel. it's the Owl Shop in uh, in New Haven. I haven't been there, man. So, you told me about that. That spot's been around since the 1930s. 30s, really? Yeah, 1934, I think. It's I didn't been, know it was uh, is that old. Oh yeah, it's, well, it's so old. It's got like grandfathered in licensing for. I think being able to like smoke and and drink, they have like some kind of crazy grandfather license. I forgot what it was that makes them like the the only or maybe one of the only other uh, spots to be able to drink or smoke or something like that. But it's like it's exclusive, exclusive, it's exclusive, and it's a old old shop. They got uh they got a good humidor there. I would go there all the time. I lived in Connecticut when my dad would come to visit. That's the spot we'd go and uh, had a lot of good times there. They you know they have a lounge in the back. They have like kind of like high high uh, bar tables that you can sit at, and they have some lounge chairs in the front, lounge chairs outside in the summer, and they have like the big window doors so you can open the whole thing up. Oh, that's pretty. So cool. So people walking by because like New Haven's kind of like a little city, it's, you know, it's like a little mini New York City. You have restaurants and stores and everything all over, and um, it's just a cool spot. A lot of a lot of oldness goes in there. The only thing I have to say about the owl shop is that a lot of, you can smoke cigarettes in there. So like, sometimes that sometimes that ruins the the vibe there. Yeah. So, how, how, but you can do that in Carnegie Club too. Apparently, we saw someone smoking a cigarette. Yeah. Ah. It's called a cigar lounge, not a cigarette lounge. Get out of here! Hey. <laughs> Get out. Move away. Bye bye. Boop boop. On you go. Bye bye. See you See later. You later. Boop, boop. Uh. So yeah, the owl shop, and then um. And it's funny because I used to go to this other spot in North Haven, Connecticut, on one of the one of the state streets in Connecticut. I forgot which which route it was, but it was called North of Havana Cigars. And uh, I would go there. They have a, they have a good humidor, a good lounge. And um, when I moved out of Connecticut, I had a I got a follow. When I moved back to New York, I got a, a follow from North Haven Cigars. So it was like, oh, you know, I, when I lived in Connecticut, I used to go to, go to you guys all the time. And he's like, oh no, I'm a new owner. I just bought it. Blah 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 blah, and it ended up being Rob, 
who we met at yeah. New York Cigar Weekend. Who NOH we, Cigars. Yeah, it's, it's, NOH it's Cigars. Him. So shout out to Rob at North Havana Cigars. And I was like, oh, shit, bro. I know exactly I know exactly yeah, yeah, who yeah, you yeah, are. Yeah. I know what lounge you are. Yeah, we've been yeah. trying to uh, work work out doing a, a podcast there for yeah. a long time now. So I, I was just talking to him the other day. He said, yeah, let me know whenever. We're ready. So um, North of Havana Cigars in uh, North Haven, Connecticut. A good spot. Really good spot. I actually bought Marissa a Gurkha cigar t-shirt there. You bought her a it was, t-shirt, it, a Gurkha t-shirt? It was like on sale for like five bucks. Let me guess. It's a bedtime t-shirt. Yeah, de- <laughs> definitely, definitely a bedtime t-shirt. What else you got? Uh, let's see here. Well, shout out to um, Doc James. Oh, Doc Lounge. James. Yeah, most definitely. And then shout out to, um, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank here. Where did we go for John Starks? Stanford Cigar Lounge? Stanford Cigar Lounge. Yeah. Stanford. In Stanford. Yes, thank you. So Doc James is in Mamaroneck, New York. Yes. Um, in Westchester County. After we interviewed Tony Peck. So yeah, we had an interview with Tony Peck in the in the poker room on the upper deck of the, uh, the Cigar Lounge. Which Check was out fun. right there. Click the card up there if you want to see that video. Uh, um, but that's a cool spot. They have a great lounge. They have a huge or pretty... Pretty good size indoor lounge, and then they have a nice outdoor lounge with all the stone, you know, stone, stone flooring or a little pebble flooring. They have a bunch of TVs out there. You can hang out in the summer there, and it's a nice, cool spot. They, they are, I think they're a Davidoff partner, so they sell a lot of Davidoffs over there. So if you're, a they had a good fan. selection. They had yeah. a good selection. I remember buying. I remember I bought like a five pack of Florida, Florida sun grown Jew estates for like fifteen bucks. Not and I was like, sheesh. She- I don't know why they do this, but they no, go, I'm not even going to do it. I'm not even going to do it. It's funny that you, it's funny that, that that's a thing, right? Because I don't my, know what the hell it means. Can you explain it to me? I don't know what it is either. Okay. I just think it's means like you know, it's like shit, like oh shit, like that, like that's that's hot. Oh, like something. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Shit. So that's what that's what you said about <laughs> it's lit, and now you say it's lit. So watch what you say. Nah, but uh, my co- my little cousin, who's you know, he's in his young twenties, but years ago. Two, three years ago, he would always just go she, and I, and he was the only one that I knew that did that. So my brothers and I would copy it from him because we'd be like, "Yo," yeah, because he's into cigars actually. So I'd be like, "Yeah, I got these cigars." He'd be like, she. I'm like, "Why do you do that?" And he would do it because we go down there for Thanksgiving. We see him at our, our house upstate, and he's like, she, she, and his brother she. <laughs> so now I see him all over Instagram. It's she. I'm like, what the. Dude, they so come, what? people come up with the wildest shit. I don't know what this means. I don't know why they do it in the forum. I forearm, have no clue. But she, I mean, I kind of like it. It's like, you know, you just got a brand new car. She, she, that's hot, <laughs> baby. Oh my God. You just be like, yo, that's hot. And you gotta yeah, come up with some gotta, sound. Gotta add a little flavor to it. Come on. She, oh, man. I have an addiction to she. Uh, but Doc James Cigar Lounge. Doc James Stanford. Uh, those are two Stanford Cigar Lounge. Yeah, in Stanford, Connecticut, where John Starks, aka Ugh. New York Le- yes, Nick Legend. Coffee here. Oh, wake up, son. I'm up. I'm ready to go. Bada bing, ba ba ba. Bing 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 boom. I'm ready to go. Yeah yeah yeah. Um, another lounge. No, but, but before we go, I like what I liked about Stanford Cigar Lounge was they had he had like three. No, he had like four different quadrants of a cigar lounge. So you walked in, you had the seats right there. Then you had the counter. Then to the right of that, you had another, you had a bunch of seating in there. Then if you go back, it's like the big TV room, which is the big room. And there's yeah. seats all in there. And if you go into the other room, they had a poker table, a poker table, a pool table. They had the humidor. See, like, that's hey. what I like. If you ever have a cigar lounge, make sure you put a pool table in it. Because there's nothing like smoking a cigar and shooting pool. That's a very old school, old school uh, mafioso. Like any pool hall, go back in like the fifties. Any pool hall, you see all the guys freaking smoking, all of them. Got it. I'm like, it, you got to do it. That's why I loved about the Doc James. I'm smoking a cigar. I'm shooting pool, waiting for Tony. It was, it was great. It's great. It's my element, man. It was great. It was great. It was great. Great. But yeah, so it was good. Doc James did have a pool table too as well. Yeah, man. That's why when, when that's going to be a thing. When I have my the next house that I get, it's going to be a freaking pool table. I'm going to have a man cave. It's going to be a pool table. And we can smoke. With the burn down logo <sighs> right in the middle. Right in the middle. Nice. Right in the middle. Nice. Black dot with the whole logo. That's right. That's hot. Now that's a pool table. Sheesh. <laughs> Sheesh. 
I don't know why. I, it, it's the dumbest thing. It's fun to say. I can't lie. It's fun to say. All the young hip kids are saying. Oh it. man. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, well, I can tell you one. There's whenever I go to Vegas, it's not really a cigar lounge. There's a few cigar lounges in Vegas that I've heard. Like Casa de Fuente is a good one. There's um, is it Monte Cristo? Macanoo Monte Cristo. I think is another one there. But one that I go to, and it's not even a cigar lounge, but I love going there because it's just, it's it's easy to get to, it's simple, and you can just smoke, you can pretty much smoke cigars anywhere, but at Cosmopolitan, there's the Chandelier Bar, and I've talked about this, it's in the middle of the Cosmo, there's this huge chandelier, and there's like three levels inside the, and your bar is inside the chandelier, mm-hmm. and you can always go and just... You get a little little booth, little table. You sit down. You get a couple drinks, and you can light up your cigar. So I love going there. Just hang out, get a couple Manhattans. I'm inside the chandelier. Have the waiting, and I can just light up my cigar right there. It's, it's simple. Then it's great. It's right in the middle of Vegas. It's simplicity usually, at its best. Like I said, it's not a cigar lounge. They don't have a humidor, but they allow you to smoke there. They give you, you need an ashtray. Here's an ashtray. It's great. I just sit and hang out. Vegas. It's, it's the adult playground. Oh, I'll, so I'll tell you. I'll tell you a quick story about it in Vegas. The so last time I was there. Um, what's that? Vegas. Vegas. So last time I was there, I was there for March Madness, and my buddy and I, uh, we wanted to go and just after we watched some of the games, like, hey, let's go get a drink at the Chandelier Bar. We'll hang out a little bit before we go to dinner Friday night or Saturday night. So you can imagine it was packed, and there was only res- reservations only. It's Friday then, it's Saturday Sunday. What? That's an actual song now. I know. It's an actual. No, no, no. It, like they made it a song now. Oh, you know, yeah, like, uh, he's Mufasa? In, Mufasa's in the music video. Oh, shit, he's on a boat. He's dancing. It's actual song now. It's Friday then. It's Saturday, Sunday. What? So, anyway, ADD, so, ADD moment. So it's like Friday, Saturday night. I can't remember. It's reservations only. So they're packed. Fucking packed. And we're waiting in line. And uh, there's a few people ahead of us. It's like a group of four. Another group of two. No, so my buddy and I are just two guys. And he's like, God, there's no shot. We're going to get this. There's no shot. And I said, just have faith, brother. Have faith. Keep the faith alive. So he goes, he goes and he's like, Justin, work your fucking magic. Get us a, get us something. I'm like, all right, no problem. So it's my specialty here. So the first, so and it's and it, it I talk about this all the time. It's helping I said it's all about how you talk to people. I said if if they tell you no and you complain, who are you gonna if you're the hostess, who do you think's gonna you're gonna help you be more inclined to help? The person that's an asshole. Oh, what do you mean, though? Or the person that's super, super nice, gives you a compliment, everything. The person's super yeah. obvious. Hey, I understand you're really busy. I know you probably can't. Yeah, this, so. But you think you can fit us in, and it'd be really appreciative to me and my friends. That's it. So the, the group of four turned down. Group of two turned down. Group of two turned down. Now we come up, and the girl's name is Michelle. I was like, oh, Michelle, my sister's name is Michelle. Shout out to Michelle. Like, nice to meet you, Michelle. And she's like, oh, nice to meet you. I said, hey, listen, like, I know you're probably super busy right now. It's like, me and my buddy, we have dinner reservations right across. We just want to have sit down and have a couple of drinks. Like, is there any way we can just like take? We want it to be long, be like maybe an hour, half an hour. Uh, can we just? She's like, oh, I'm kind of booked. Said, listen, and we'll even sit at the bar. It doesn't matter. Like anything you can do, we really, really appreciate it. We just want to have a cigar and a drink. And she's like, hold on a second. So she walks away. She goes, she's like, I tell you what, just go sit at the bar. Um, and if I need it, I'll come over. I'll keep you guys out. If they say anything, just tell me how to reservation. I'm like, Michelle, you're f- did I tell you that you're awesome? You're freaking awesome. Thanks. She's like, don't worry about it. Just go sit down. Get the so, hell out. So, my, so we walk through. My buddy's like, how the fuck did you do that? How'd you fucking do that? I was like, just ask nicely. Like, skills, That's all baby. it is, man. People just skills. ask nicely. We wound, we wound up sitting there for two hours. Two hours. Never came with nothing. Just And everybody's like, how the fuck did they get in? Do you have a reservation? Yeah, we got a reservation. Yeah. Dude, do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. And then it led into the next night. So we came back the next night and she was there again. I was like, hey, what's going on? She's like, oh, come on in. Come on in. I got you over here. No reservation or nothing. So all I got to do is just be nice. Just be nice and ask. And don't get pissed when they tell you no. Even to like, listen, if you can't, don't even worry about it. We'll figure something out. Yeah, She's like, hey, no problem, we got you. Oh, I got one. I, I thought I want one. It's not really a nice lounge. It's not really a lounge, but they got killer prices. Oh, yeah. 
Nice Ash Cigar Lounge <laughs> in Warren, Pennsylvania. In the middle of Amish country. Middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania. And um, It's actually a place called Middle of Nowhere, Pennsylvania. Yeah, look it up. It's look it thing. up. Nice Ash Cigar Lounge. I mean, they have, they have a few seats there you can sit, but... It's more of outdoor seating, right? They have a couple... Yeah, outdoor seating, but their humidor is extensive, one. Variety, two. Extensive variety. Just say, is that the same thing? Same thing. One, one, A. I'm just thinking of adjectives. <laughs> but, constitutional. Uh, constitu- occupational. <laughs> Precipitational. Precipitational. But um, <laughs> no, they have a million different types of cigars and a really big cigar humidor, but their prices. I'm guessing it's because were, they were, I was in Pennsylvania and I'm we're from New York, obviously. So when you see like a cigar that you usually pay like $18 for, like about 10 bucks, you're like, you're like, whoa. Oh. Dutchman's treasure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Thanks, thanks. The Dutchman's treasure. But yeah, so <laughs> nice Ash Cigar Lounge in Warren, Pennsylvania. <laughs> nice Ash Cigar oh. Lounge in Warren, Pennsylvania. <laughs> and, so, uh, and since you're in the topic of Pennsylvania, Cigar and Ashel in Beth. That's another good one. Where is it? Bethlehem, PA? Yes. Bethlehem, PA. Beth Helm. Beth Helm. Beth Helm. We're actually going to be there in October, baby, for Cigar Let's Fest. Go. We've been waiting over a year for this. It's a few months away. You know what? And it's right before your boy gets married. So Yo. we're going out with a bang. Going out with a bang. Love it. So I have two more I can think of. What do you got? One is in Saratoga Springs, James and Sons uh, Tobacconist. Yes, I've been there. Nice little, I mean, doesn't have a huge lot corner. of Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of seating. But I got to shout them out because I'm going to be moving up to Saratoga Springs in a few years. And that's going to be my local shop. And they were very, very friendly. They hooked it up and they had killer prices. So killer. So shout out to James Sons. And the other one I was thinking of is the Burn Down Studio, baby. Whoa. Dude, let's go. This is the lounge right here. This is the lounge experience that you want. This is where you. This is where it's at, man. Right here on the Burn Down is the best cigar lounge you All can All I got to say is, she. See? Dumbest <laughs> fucking thing I've ever heard. But it feels good to say it. <laughs> but the burn down right here. You join us. You can sit down in the comfort of your own home and smoke a cigar with us. Yeah, man. Burn down. You don't even got to leave your house. You just Fuck hang out with go. the burn down boys. Damn, why didn't I think of that? I don't know. So we want to give a shout out to all you guys. We appreciate everybody that subscribes, that likes these videos, that shares these videos, that uh, likes these videos, that watches these videos and listens and if you're not please hit the like button please hit the subscribe button please hit the bell to be notified for every time we drop new videos we have videos throughout the week we have a new episode every single friday we want to thank all of our website members bang eric tell them about the membership come on come on become a member on our website www.burndownpodcast.com so become a member five dollars a month to get exclusive discounts to nova cigar Cigarandpipes.com, read by vinyl, uh, whiskey clean distillery, and you get entered into a monthly giveaway every single month. This month, we'll be giving away a five pack of AJ Fernandez a sampler pack, a bourbon, a bowl of bourbon whiskey set. Someone's winning that, or yes. or they can choose not to get that, and they can get a thirty minute Zoom session with the burn down mm. guys right here. Have their own cigar lounge experience. Right here with us. So become a member, burndownpodcast.com, five dollars a month. See you there or be square. Go follow us at Burndown Podcast. Go to the website like Eric said, burndownpodcast.com. If you'd like to email us with any questions or comments, burndown.mail gmail.com. If you want to advertise with us, more than yes, welcome. Yes, there's another thing. If you'd like to advertise with us, you can you can go to our website, www.burnoutpodcast.com, like we said three times already. And just go to the contact section, just contact us right on the home page. And just put advertising in the subject. We love to help you guys out. We love to support small businesses. So if you have a business and you'd like to advertise, whether it's on the podcast or on our website, um, on our Instagram page, wherever you'd like to do it, just slide in, send us a message, and we'll talk about it. Slide on in. Till next time, guys. See you later. Hasta luego. Peace. You got a friend in me. <laughs>